The National Anti-Money Laundering Oversight Committee, NAMLOC, recently conducted a crucial anti-terrorism training and sensitization session aimed at deepening members' understanding of the United Nations Security Council resolutions and the Financial Action Task Force's recommendation number six. This recommendation mandates the identification and freezing of assets associated with terrorism and its financing. Juliana Alfred, Permanent Secretary in the Attorney General's Chambers and Chair of NAMLOC, emphasized that this training is a critical step as St. Lucia prepares for its fifth round mutual evaluation. She added that recommendation number six is one of seven areas for which St. Lucia has requested re-rating, underscoring the government's commitment to strengthening its compliance and effectiveness in counter-terrorism financing. We are going to be attending plenary, and at that plenary, St. Lucia applied for seven recommendations for re-rating, and I'm happy to report that all seven recommendations have been re-rated positively. So St. Lucia is going into this meeting having improved our re-rating standing just as last year. The recent review saw St. Lucia achieve upgraded ratings across all targeted recommendations, moving from non-compliant to partially compliant for recommendation number six and seven on sanctions related to terrorism and proliferation. Recommendation 26, which covers the regulation of financial institutions, also advanced from non-compliant to largely compliant. Further progress was made with recommendations 15, 28, 33, and 38, all moving from partially compliant to largely compliant ratings. Alfred was also grateful for the government's support to bring on board a full-fledged staff to implement the framework. The obligations to the CFATF and to FATF are perpetual if I can use that word. And it means that we need to have an institutional mechanism to be able to deal with these recommendations. And so cabinet committed the financial support to ensuring that we do now have a six person team in the first instance as a support mechanism to implement the CFATF recommendations and to ensure that St. Lucia is in a better place for the fifth round, because fifth round is coming. The fifth round mutual evaluation will focus on St. Lucia's effectiveness in implementing and monitoring legislative amendments that strengthen the anti-money laundering framework. So when the assessors come to St. Lucia for our fifth round mutual evaluation, this is what they'll be focused on. And so that's why that training was very important for us so that we can look at what systems we need to put in place in terms of ensuring effectiveness of our systems across the board. St. Lucia's improved ratings follow on its May 2023 application, which successfully upgraded 20 out of the 22 FATF recommendations. This progress highlighted in the final report, available on the CFATF website, reflects the NAMLOC's commitment over the past three years to bolstering its framework for anti-money laundering, counter-terrorism, and counter-proliferation financing. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.